What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ back here again, and today we're going to be going over how to make a basic calculator. As you can see, we have a constructor inside the public class juice, and the constructor again is what is called immediately when an object of juice is made to initialize the state that you currently want the object to have when you create it. And the first thing we're going to do to start off our calculator is we are going to declare a global variable and we are going to call it, let's see, what is a good number variable? We're going to call it duck. And this private variable, this global variable we have here, this global variable we have here is what it has access to this whole class. So everything in this class within these brackets the bot the topmost and the bottommost can see this private this public this variable to the whole class but this variable cannot be accessed outside of these parentheses because it is a private variable it can only be seen within this class now since since this is a, they call this a global variable within this class it can be seen it can be manipulated only within this class and by default the integer duck is initialized to zero. This is what you could do, so it's easier explained, but this happens by default in Java. It's just the default value the integer is given. Now, let's now if we wanted to send it and change it to update it to anything besides zero, we would have to do that in the constructor. So as you can see, I made duck 10. Now let's make an add method for this calculator. Um, and we're going to start by declaring a method called public void add to number and it's going to take a parameter of another integer and let me explain what we're doing here. I'm making a method which is public which we know what that means it's accessible to anybody and void meaning it does not return anything returning is something is another property in java and this is the method name again you can make this anything i can make this add to number one two three or anything it's just the name of the method and then i have a parameter in which i'm saying hey i have this method add in which i take a integer and then this is the name of that integer which then i can utilize to change what i want or do what i want inside this method and I can only use this method if I am using this parameter as well. So let's say I want to add to the number or add to duck because that's what we're changing here. We're changing to the, the duck. And I want to add that or change the duck, the duck number. And one thing I can do is I can say duck equals duck plus number two. Now, if you're good at math, again, this doesn't make sense because duck should equal duck, not plus number two. But what? But again, equals is not really equals like in math. It's an assignment operation. So what I'm doing here is you want to read it from left to right. And let me try to explain this. So duck is equal to 10 as we have initialized it in the constructor that now what I'm doing here is I'm adding a number to duck so let's say I call the add to duck method with 20 as a parameter so I want to add 20 to duck duck is 10 plus 20 that's that gives me 30 and I'm, I'm assigning that integer 30 now to duck so now duck equals 30 another shorthand way to do this is duck plus equals number two. This line, this second line is actually equal to this first line. It's saying the same thing. The plus equals is saying, hey, I want you to take this, the current duck, and add it to number two. Make sure you play around with this so you totally understand. But essentially, it's a shortcut. Instead of writing all of this, you can just put the plus right there and it knows you're using the duck variable because you're replacing it with its current with its current form 
and doing something else with it. Now let's do a minus method. Again, I'm going to do public void minus, and I'm going to take an integer, and I'm going to take an integer called number three. Again, it doesn't. I could I could actually name this number two I want because this is something that needs to be explained. Even though these parameters are the same, they are not. They are local variables. So this variable only exists within this method. So it's a local variable. It only exists in this method. Again, global variables are exist within all the whole class. So that global variable exists within all this, whereas this variable only was, exists within these brackets. This is important. So I, I can't reuse the name duck. Actually, I could, but that is something else we'll get into a little bit later. And, um, but it's important to notice that I could, if I just wanted to make both of these number, that I could do that because it would not matter. But I do need to change both of these if I am going to do that. But otherwise than that, it's, it's good. So let's say I want a minus duck. I'm going to do something very similar. Duck equals duck minus number. Did I spell wrong? No. And also, like the minus thing, I can do, you guessed it, the same operation I did. Oopsie, I am thinking I am typing in the same thing, and I forgot the semicolon. It is working the exact same way, where I am minusing it. I am already know I'm going to change that duck variable, so it's just minusing it by the number, and then assigning it to the new duck variable. And I'm going to get rid of those lines because I don't want to do the same operation twice. Um, now let's make a multiply method. And again, we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do duck equals duck times number. And again, you can do it that way, but if you're paying eh, kind of any attention, you can also do duck times number and that will work too it will be the same operation that it will take duck times it by number and now assign that number to the duck variable and again we will do proper division which actually is a little bit tricky so we will get into that and so division would simply be duck divided by the number we're taking and integers are only whole numbers so negative one zero one two three four all the way up to infinity there's no decimal places so let's say I do three divided by two well three divided by two is 1.5 but since integers cannot store decimal places so what happens when and int when you divide it is that the decimal place just gets cut off. It doesn't get rounded or anything. It just gets cut off. So 1.5, you would cut off the 0.5, and 1 would then be assigned to the new duck variable. There was a way to include decimal values, but we'll get into that later. You cannot do that with integers, though. Okay. Well, those are all the basic those are all the basic addition, add, multiply, subtract. There are other operations, but I think I'm going to end it off here for now. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a great, fantabulous day.